up guys? These Hilliard clutches I've been using as differentials in the front hub have uh, failed with these 26 inch tires. So I redesigned a new uh, clutch or uh, ratcheting, one way ratchet for the front. I took this for a short test ride before it, something else broke, so I'm just opening this up for the first time to see what it looks like. That one's stuck. So this automatic locking differential is just a simple one-way ratchet. So the axle right here is locked to the rear axle by a chain, so they're always driving at the same speed. And the wheel is turning at the same speed too. So this whole mechanism, everything is rotating as one assembly under normal straight driving conditions. When you go around a corner, this one-way ratchet allows the tire to freewheel and so it <clears throat> rotates more in a corner opposed to the inside tire. If this tire hits like a stump or something and stops, this axle keeps rotating around until it engages and then it starts driving this wheel. The gear ratio between the front axle and the rear axle is slightly different. This spins, this axle spins slightly slower than the rear axle. So under normal driving conditions, like I said, this is all rotating as one assembly. So this isn't, it's not ratcheting at all. This axle spinning slightly slower than this. So every once in a while, this is going to overturn and it's going to ratchet one click. So under normal driving conditions, there's never any engagement here. It's always, this wheel is always allowed to spin freely.
So this is basically a replacement for the Hilliard clutch. The Hilliard clutch has these barrels that engage on this smooth wall hub. And so they just ramp up and lock in, like wedge in. And I noticed they were slipping and then one of them exploded. I don't know if it was my fault with the installation or if it was just the tire was too big, but this is the redesign here. It works under the same principle as the Hilliard clutch. The way the Hilliard clutch works is the, ball, the barrels ramp up and engage, but if the hub wants to over speed or overturn around a corner, it's able to. It kicks these barrels back to the neutral position and can overrun. So it's basically a one-way ratchet, <clears throat> the same as this right here. The side-by-side -side razors use these Hilliard clutches, but their hub has ridges and valleys in it so these barrels can go up and lock in a pocket to give it a more positive engagement. So that's what I'm hoping this is gonna do. I also have this other little ratchet that I made for the recon cart. It's a eight horsepower engine that powers this ratchet. This is gonna be a 50 horsepower KTM engine. So it's uh, quite a bit bigger. The Upsides to this also with the Hilliard clutch you have an oil bath which sounds all nice and dandy Until your oil starts leaking onto your disc brakes and you don't have any disc you don't have any brakes so And that's what happened to me in the Rubicon. So it's not not nothing to play around with your brakes So I'm going to this which you can just use grease instead of an oil of an oil bath uh, the downsides to this uh, there's no engine braking and there's no reverse it, it won't drive these wheels in reverse. There could be some type of lockout mechanism that's added to it if you really wanna put it in reverse, but it depends on what application you're, you're using. With this setup, there's also no electromagnet to have to deal with. They're a little bit finicky in their adjustment. This you can't turn on and off though, so it's always on. All right, everyone, well, thanks for watching and uh, Go out and get building. All right.